Hi everyone, welcome back to more Infernium. We've now got three harvest fingers, no? Yes, three harvest fingers. And we are now gonna go to this dreadful area over here. Really don't need that light. Ooh. Okay, you my dude need to chill out. Thank you. So the white ones won't chase you. They won't do anything like that. But they will kill you if they touch you. So they do have a habit of just walking up on you and running into you. And there's the edge fortress map. And then the waterfall. All right. Which again, you can't get over here until you have long dash. Alright, you might as well collect light over here. Okay. So on each of these islands, there's a red cloak and a white guy. A white light guy. So you don't got to worry about the white light guy chasing after you, but he will step in your path and get in your way. And then the red cloaks you got to be careful with. So I need to go over there. Okay, he's going over that way. That's good. Ooh, please do not walk into me. Where are you going? Okay. Okay. I'm surprised I did not activate that red cloak. I'm really surprised. Okay, my dude, I need you to go away. And that's all he does is walk around. You gotta be careful because he'll come back around like this. There we go. Made it in. And another thing I wish that the developer had done is actually define more of what you're getting. Because like this looks like a harvest finger, but it's not. It's actually called a compass. And this was very confusing when I got this. Because I thought it was another Harvest Finger and it wasn't. And I was like, well, what ability did I get? And then if you look at your left hand, you see that? That little triangle thing? I had no idea what that was. It, it was actually quite confusing to try to figure out what new ability I got. Can I go in here? Yep, nothing attacked me, so we are good. You know, one thing you learn walking around in this game is always have near close to full harvest fingers. 
because you never know when you're going to need it. I mean, because I know when I'm going to need it for the most part. It's not really that imperative. But generally, if this is your first playthrough, it's always a good idea to have some. That way you can use them to take down barriers when you need. Okay. So what this does is it points to which of these is the correct area to go to. Which painting. So this is painting to this one. But... What was that noise? But yeah, so as you can see, it moves pointing to which one it is. Now, you don't have to use that. If you get close enough to the paintings, you can actually see which one you need to go into. Right there. So again, I don't really understand why this little thing is that important. This is not a fun one. Where's the white guy? Where is he at? There's only one in here. There it There's no blue ones, luckily, just a red cloak and the white light guy. Okay. Ooh, not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I need to do this in order to activate these paintings. There we go. And I don't know where the white light guy went. Okay. Ooh. Crap. Okay. And I'm just running along, looking. Okay. Okay. Well, this is a bummer. That means it's not... Oh, it's right here. Ooh, okay. So basically, I was looped around the outside, looking at the painting to see where it was and chill out chill out chill out please chill out okay Base, I was looking to see, uh, checking the perimeter to see if any of those paintings would allow me through. And unfortunately, it was not on the outside. It was one of the inner paintings. But I got really lucky with that. The fact that I found it right away. I don't think I need to go that way. Hey, dude, you need to chill. Thank you. Okay, I need to get my flashlight ready. Yep. Okay. I, I thought I remembered some blue guys being down here. Blue guys really aren't that bad when they're by themselves. Now, if there's a bunch of them, that can be a problem. Hmm. I thought I saw a, a weird word. 
Okay. Yeah, you can pause the video if you want to watch those or read those texts. Okay. There's some more. There's some more. And there's some more. Okay. Okay, there is a shortcut here, but you gotta open it. I think from the other side. But yeah, those blue guys, really easy to handle. Just put your flashlight out. The light will actually slow them down. Um, the only time they're really a threat is when there's a bunch of them. Then you get overwhelmed. Okay, now we need to figure out which painting to go into. It's, okay, so the way this is pointing, it's one of these two. That one or this one. There's this cloak right down here. We'll have to make this quick. Ooh, okay. Okay, still pointing that way. Like best for the wait for them to stop moving before you do a jump. Okay, so it is not that one, it is this one. That is good news. That is really good. Oh, don't tell me we're gonna get this lucky. Oh, damn. Perfect, you didn't even have to activate really any of the red cloaks or do a bunch of island hopping. See, this was another area that really confused me. Because after I made it back to the top and then activated that switch, I was like, what do I do? And then the, all the paintings lit up and I was like, why does that help me? I don't understand where I'm supposed to be going. So I spent a lot of time wandering around trying to figure out where I need to go. Then, of course, each time you die or you leave this area and come back, that portal changes. So it's not going to be in the same sp same spot. So and this is where this drape was. There's a guy over there. So you have more, more text. Just scattered all over the place. the waterfall area which was we were just at and then this is the darkness so basically it's an entire area of darkness that's a bit of pain in the butt you can kind of cheese it and get around it Which would involve going all the way back to the castle and all the way back to the, the plains. Because now that we got three harvest fingers, we can go back there, open that door, and basically get around the darkness. You know, it's certainly doable. But I don't want to do that. I kind of want to go through the darkness. Okay, see, and all that does is open this up. Let's see, right down here. I 
Then you have this path up here. See, and that's just an elevator. Takes you down. See, and it's amazing how this entire game was made by one guy. Think, think he's in Spain, if I recall correctly. His name is Carlos. It's insane how one guy came up with this, created all this stuff. And it's all made in Unreal Engine. See, and it just takes you back up here. So and there's the Forsaken Fortress. You can see the red cloak up there. And we came across there to over here. <laughs> okay, so that was the thing I was talking about, I think, in my previous video, previous video, where it's not wise to point towards the water. Because you're not supposed to be able to go into the water. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to be. But the game does kind of glitch out with the water and sometimes it'll let you teleport. Sometimes you survive it, sometimes you don't. In this case right here, I did not survive. That's why I tried to avoid using this thing to point with. You know, because it's very easy to be like, oh, I want to go here, I want to go here. Just because it's red doesn't mean it's not going to teleport you. Same thing uh, when it's gold. Doesn't always teleport you when it's gold, too. Oh, that sucks. But we now have three harvest fingers. I might be making a mistake here. I am. Oh, I am making a mistake. Well, that sucks. I just wasted that light. There is a shortcut that you need to open. And I thought you needed three harvest fingers, but you might actually need four. Let's go check that out. So, you can see the light off here in the distance. It's actually trying to guide you. And I think you can only get over here too if you have the long dash. I don't think you can do it with the short. Like, this is the way to get out of the, like, purgatory area. Whoops. Yes, I need four. And this is another thing that's difficult to comprehend, is this is an actual four. You know, on one of those maps that those college students created, it actually breaks it down. One, two, three, four, five. This looks like a three, but because it has that center line, that is a four. If it has two center lines, then that's a five. Yeah, crap, I wasted that light. I thought it was three fingers, but you actually need four. Oh well. That's all right.
Okay. Alright, so that way took us back up. That's not where we need to go. This is where we need to go. Oops. I think I already missed the jump. Yeah, this door you can't open it unless you're on the other side. Very top ring. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh. The elevator glitched out. I mean, I was trying to walk off the elevator onto a ledge. I might have actually succeeded in that. I might have actually walked onto the ledge and then walked off. And by that point, the elevator had already gone past me. So that may have been my bad. <laughs> All right. Third attempt. So that, that's the thing about this game is you were gonna die. I mean, that's just how it is. And part of it is the glitchiness, but normally I don't like glitchiness in games. But because it's one guy who made this, I'm much more willing to let it go. You know. Hey, this is much easier. Okay. Alright. You know, another thing you can kind of cheat this system with the flashlight is to just tap the button. If you just tap it, it won't use the light. The moment you let this down, you're going to start having blue guys. So freaking dark. Okay. Wanted to make sure none of them were going to sneak up behind me. All right, there's one. And they can actually see you quite far off, too. Ooh. Okay, buddy. I wish I could get you from right here. Yeah, there's two of them. So let's just wait. Ooh. Oh, crap. There's three of y'all. Ooh, okay. I thought there would only be two. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. And it's best not to move when you're in the darkness. Okay. 
because otherwise you just get lost and confused. Ooh, okay. Gotta make sure they don't come up behind you. Ooh! Oh, crap! Come on! Damn. See what I mean? They're not dangerous by themselves it's when they're grouped up is when they're dangerous and I think I just got really bad RNG right there because I don't think I've ever been that overwhelmed that, that was a lot of them in one little area I don't think I've ever been that overwhelmed unless there was some kind of update and the developer added some more, which would be messed up if that's what happened. All right. And it doesn't help I got stuck on some wall or I got backed into a corner. That's the worst thing about the darkness area. Working. Ooh. Like usually it works better than that. And there was a third one just waiting right outside here. I fell in the hole. Okay. Yeah, there had to have been some kind of update with this game. Because that light does not seem to be working quite right. Because it should be affecting them a lot more than what it is. This isn't even the most difficult part. 
of this whole little expanse. The next part, that's more difficult because now we're going to add a red cloak to the mix. And there's like four or five right down here. Four or five of these uh, blue light guys. And a red cloak. There doesn't seem to be as many guys this time around. I don't honestly know what's like a set standard of bad guys that are down here. You know, with these blue guys or if there's just a random spawn. Okay, we are going to loop you around here. Who? okay. We're going to go left and then right. Damn. I walked right into it. So yeah, you got to juke the red cloak and then make it to all the blue guys. And you can't really stand there and make the blue guys go away. Because the red cloak is going to get you. So you got to kind of make it past them. And every time I've done it, I've like gone left and then right or right then and left. And that time I didn't do it, I just tried to go straight. And I think that's where I screwed up. Alright, back to it. did open up the shortcut, which is good. I'm going to go down here. And down here. Perfect. Okay. I need to be careful. Oh, oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Chill. 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 I do not know how I managed to survive that. Oh, I do not know how that was possible. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
make sure it was not coming from behind. Oh shit! Oh! I glitched out on the ledge. I glitched out on the wall. And he got me. I'm just having a hard time with this darkness area. I mean, I seriously thought the planes was going to be the part that was going to break me. <laughs> not not this area. I did not have this much trouble. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. See, now that was just bad RNG. That that was just bad luck. Cause I, I don't think they spawn in at a particular location. I think it's just random. And I just was really bad luck with them all being right there. And then of course the teleporting. As you've seen in this video, it is not an accurate ability by any means. And there's no light. There's really no point for me to collect it. But I just don't want it right here. It's distracting. Okay. I mean, they technically, when you got the light out, they won't touch you. But that's not always the case, like I've said before. It's best to keep moving back to maintain your distance. Sometimes I will sneak up behind you. See? See, I... I didn't even move. The other ones didn't even touch me. And I, as long as I had my flashlight out, I was good. But that one got me. Because I wasn't moving. See, that's why it's best to just keep moving with the blue guys. Sometimes you can stand still and they won't touch you and then other times they will. It just, it makes no sense. Originally, this was a salsa <laughs> dance simulator or emulator. I think there's one of the messages that says this game was made with baby's tears or something like that. He, 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 he threw in some weird things on the loading screens from time to time. Carlos did, the developer. Oh. Okay, come on. Came from behind. I thought it screamed behind me. I, I thought, but... I was turning around too much and I thought I had enough of a distance. Whew, I'm running through these lives. 
Like there ain't no tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna take a break. Because maybe that's what I need. I need to step away for a minute. did not think I would have this much trouble with this section of it. Ooh, okay. Damn it! <laughs> oh, he was right there around the corner. Oh, I should have looked. Oh. God damn. Okay, one more try. I, I don't count that one. That that was not fair. <sighs> God, the way this is going. I may have to cut a bunch of these out. I, I'm just bewildered right now. I did not think this darkness area was going to whoop my butt like it is. Now the planes, I was so sure this was how it was going to go with the planes. Not this area. But I did say the game gets a lot harder this point forward. See, why is it doing that? It literally stopped working on him. I, I don't get that. Taking a little bit of a break.
Okay, let's wait a minute. Oh my god. I don't know how I missed him. I've never had this much trouble in this area. Okay, are y'all done? No, we're not. Oh, so overwhelming. Hey, come on. I know y'all are here. Shit, I fell down. Okay, I'm a little lost. I don't know where I'm at. Is 
there's no squeezing past that guy on the left. Yeah, the new game plus is way too difficult. Like, there's way too many enemies all over the place. I made it like halfway through on that hard difficulty, and then I just had to give up. I am contemplating my life choices at this point. <laughs> I may have to end up going to the sun area and restocking up on lives. I did not think I would have to do it in this playthrough. There were three of them right there. Where did y'all go? See, it's weird how sometimes they can see you. Do it. Ooh, okay. No more sneaking and hiding. Hung up on the wall. Ah. 
I have like 10 or 11 lives left, maybe 12. See if I can just get past. There's a spot where you can drop down. And I mean, I'm almost there. I'm like literally within feet of the exit. Wait here a moment. So I know some of y'all want to sneak up. There's two of y'all. Why y'all are not activating, I don't know. Oh. I should have taken him out. But it's just such a risk. I mean, I'm starting to think about uh, going back the other way and coming back up the other path, but I don't want to do that. I 
I don't know why the light sometimes affects them and sometimes it doesn't. That's that whole risk I keep talking about. See one of you. I've made it. Oh, freaking hell. Open this door, please. Holy crap. Fantastic. There's the elevator. Okay, that's just the coke up there. Ooh, that scared me. Okay, so we got our safe spot. We got the elevator opened up. Fantastic. Alright. If we have three harvest fingers, we can open that up. In fact, I will do that right now. If I can. So let's go get some light. I'm so glad that darkness area is done with. And it literally just comes down to RNG. And that's literally what it comes down to. Because they don't spawn in like the same area, it seems. Sometimes they're grouped together, sometimes they're not. And if you get cornered by too many of them, you're done for. I need some light. Light, please. Okay, you're a white guy. So I don't need to be too concerned with you. Ooh. Okay. Just don't touch me. Six feet, six feet, dude. Six feet. Where are you going? Of course you are, of course. Where are you going? This is risky, very risky. Perfect. Okay.
need to do the elevator first. Ooh, kind of did a little fall there. Perfect, perfect. This fire's still lit. And then you got this wonderful blue flowers and purple area. All right, I'm gonna end it for this video right here. That is another trial to get a harvest finger, so we will do that next time. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.